Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. I see there's another icon in in my home. Oh, it's Uncle. I traveled a bit out to save because I didn't want to start these quests, but I think I'm going to see how this man is doing first. So I have a feeling I might actually start to reach the end. <laughs> we'll see. First, anyway, first I need to check out how the flying goes. Because <laughs> that's sort of been the major side quests. For me at least, in the latter part of the game. <coughs> oh, you should stop smoking, Marston. Ah, it's the middle of the night. And that's a skunk. I was like, is that a beaver here? <laughs> oh, is it ready? Person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Hmm, to even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. More than that. <laughs> this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly that its skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I seems like Charles you've done a quite a well job. <laughs> demonstrate the miracle of flight. But it looks a bit too heavy. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it flies a bit. And then it comes crashing down, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't unexpected. Still quite funny. <laughs> but we, without those guys, we wouldn't have airplanes. Or anything like that today. Come on. Come on. I got to see the wreck. What was that? I need one more armadillo, I think. No, it's a opossum or something. It was here, wasn't it? Come on. Somewhere around this place? Up there, maybe? Yeah, there it is. It actually flew better than I expected. <laughs> but the end result speaks for itself. So, uh, that's a skunk. Time to head to the farm, I think. I see another letter? Okay. No, it's not. That's one more thing I'd like to... I'm going to go a bit outside. That's one more thing I'd like to have in the next game is a fixed compass with the cardinal directions on it. Or fixed minimap. Because that's not an option, is it? I think I checked it. No. Display, maybe? But it's a minor issue, it's just I'm more used to orienting to a fixed map. It 
So let's go home once again and see what they have to say. Travel home. Hello, dog. That's a dog. It's not a wolf, <laughs> I think. Am I too early in the morning? Or in the night? What time is it? Oh, it's 7 a.m. I think. Eleven a.m. and six p.m. How about Abigail? Mister. Hi, Uncle. Five AM and six PM. Oops. Did it just pass six PM? No, 7 p.m. Okay. Yes. Oops. <laughs> I'll tear down the house and... Hi, Jack. Try the bed. Quite nice bedroom. Can I use it? Oh yeah, I can. Now it is 2 a.m. I guess so one more quick nap I'm going to bed again <laughs> hi there oh goodbye <laughs> Cooking some breakfast, I hope. Howdy, God. Pestilence. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past fifteen years with the hope of poisoning you. <laughs> Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, it tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good well, he'll, kid. Be, he'll be a rancher or, he of sorts. He, he ain't gonna be no Looks frontier like. gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads, and government, and motor cars, and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. He's illiterate? <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, okay. my angel. Wait. Get out of there! <laughs> Alright. Come on! Scatch. Maybe I'll uh, bring Jack along. Guess not. Scare the crows out of the silo. Corn remaining. 
Can I like shoot them? How do I get in here? Oh, I have to shoot them. Maybe uh, this is what I need the shotgun for. Hist. Especially when they're like in a big hunk. Oh crap. I'm no good hunter. <laughs> oh wait, they're stealing the corn still. Am I gonna fail this? I think I'm doing something wrong. Oh crap, <laughs> you just destroyed your corn. <laughs> Scare the crows out of the silo. Oh, out of it. It's just a matter of firing or... Are there still someone in there? Oh, they take it back. Ah, I see. There's a ladder. I hope it don't last long. No. How am I supposed to get up there? Go. Get out! Stop stealing my stuff. Am I shooting away the corn? No. Oh, someone took a lot of it. This will end up being the hardest quest. I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what to do except shoot them. You lost too much corn. Okay. So, <laughs> not the sniper. Get out. Oh, I can't shoot that thing. Get out. Are they out now? One on the way in. So should I just shoot the ones trying to get in now? Because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of corn going. Oh, he got away with some. That one too. Ah, did I do it? <laughs> Oh, I should go in the other side. Old friends, new problems. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. We bought the cows from her. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that oh, he can down? read. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Okay. Moths and moths ate entire county supply. 
Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life. You yeah, and she sold yes, cows to us. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. <laughs> yeah, I just By the protected one thing them. Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? She's okay. Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. <laughs> Wrong answer. She's a woman in a man's world. How many bandits do I have to kill on the way now? John, wait. You want to come with me? I changed my mind. I'm coming okay. with you. Okay. That's well, cool. Come on, man. Let's get going. Before time runs out. Let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd ah. keep an eye on the board. Communication, people. Going to Thieves Landing. I think she actually kind of wanted to jump in John's direction, but. Bill shot me. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. He was down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Yeah, and if he had, had a gun, maybe. The truth, or that they were just uh, thieves? Where did they take Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Oh. Can't have been too far from here, though. Did they treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. <laughs> Very fun. <laughs> no, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. All right, you. Oh, what? Huh? Did I run someone over? <laughs> How? Okay. See you at McFarlane's. <laughs> And I'll try not to run Maybe anyone I should over. Meet this McFarlane woman. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. Care about that. I've been in far worse All right. situations. It was the way. Try not to run I anyone over. You came. Thank that you went so fine. Much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarlane, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners. Yeah, she did that. Thing, I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. 
John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land yeah, you got there. Yeah, especially for one day. <laughs> How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. <laughs> well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd Probably. say so too. I never felt so out I don't think these women are pushovers. She jealous? Yep. Ma'am. Definitely. Is that gonna cause a problem? Drive Abigail home, and I going home. Oops. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing, the perfect rancher's wife. If I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I yeah. have that effect on women. You clearly <laughs> had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Martin. <laughs> That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? Well, only once, one time is needed. Just need to succeed that time. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. The gang is dead anyway, so they can't really go back to the old life. The old gang's dead. I get what they had. And that's it? The life is proud, forgiven? Yeah, but they're probably going to try and use... Sometimes I think I was me again. believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are, than they were. Maybe we can't change. We gotta try, for Jack's sake. You think he's so almost, uh, think he's almost grown up. <laughs> was born when they were in the gang? He grew up with the gang. That's no laugh for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. That's uh, unexpected, actually. I thought the gang thing was way in the past. Should probably talk to Jack. And the uncle. But that has to be in the next episode, so bye bye.